Hey friends and welcome back! In today's episode we are going to continue our tutorial from last time. We are going to take our webcam pictures and uh, we are going to include weather data into the captured frames by accessing an open weather API on the internet. Let's do it! Roll the intro! Before we dive in deep, make sure you watch the first part of the tutorial and your webcam is taking pictures and intervals by our capture.sh script and saves them in the webcam pics folder. A link to the first video can be found in the description alongside links to my website. Patrons can there access all tutorials written down and just copy paste all necessary code and scripts. So you might want to consider becoming a patron or you just follow along this video. It also contains all basic information, but it means more typing for you. Our first step is to edit the cron tab again. Type cron tab e. Scroll down to the line we added in the first video and add a hash sign to comment it out. Press Ctrl X Y to save and exit. Now with the automatic capture disabled, we can safely work on our scripts. Let's get going. Open our capture script in your favorite text editor. As we want the script to run some other scripts that will be put in the user's home directory, let's make sure to change into that directory at the start of the script. Add the following line as shown in the video. In order to keep all originally captured images in the webcam pics folder intact, just in case you want to create a time lapse later or whatever, we just copy the last captured file from that folder to the home directory of the user pi and name it latest JPEG. To do so, just add the following line at the bottom of the script. Press Ctrl X Y to save and exit. Now for a quick overview where we are and what we are going to do. On the left side we have the home pi directory. Within that directory there is our capture sh script. It executes fs webcam and saves images to the webcam pics folder. We just added another line which is the copy the latest file to latest.jpg in the home pi directory. In the next step, we are going to create our webcam weather.py, a Python script which will request the weather uh, from the weather API on the internet. It will send an API key, we still need to generate that one, and several parameters like our current location and whether we want the returned data in the metric or imperial system. Finally, all the data received will be added to the latest webcam picture. And this new image will be saved as weatherwebcam.jpg in the HomePy directory. For the API, we are going to use openweathermap.org. Visit the site and click the sign in button in the top right corner. No worries, this is free. Now click the create an account button at the bottom and fill out the form to complete the registration process. Once finished, go back to the sign in option and log in. Now we need to create an API key. Click the API keys and the generate button. Ah, oh, wait, we need to think of an API key name. Just make something up. It could be like Raspberry Pi Weather Cam or just test, whatever you like. Now write down the key itself. It's marked here within the red rectangle. But do not worry and do not try to use this key. I deleted it. It is of no use for you. You have to generate your own. Okay, time to write some code. We want to write the script in Python 3. And as we want to modify the image, we need the Python 3 image library. Type sudo apt install python3 pill and install it. Within your home directory, change to the webcam pics directory, type ls to get a list of JPEG files. Now let's test the Python image library installation. Just type whatever I did, pause the video and uh, give it a try. All you need to do is replace the JPEG file name with one of the file names of your captured images in the webcam pics directory. 
Now that we have an image opened, we can test the access to the image object. As you can see, we have an image object in IM. IM.height gives us the height. IM.width gives us the width. IM.info gives us general information. So we are ready to write the script and work on images. Let's go. Press Ctrl D to exit the Py3 interpreter. In the Py home directory, type nano webcam weather dot py. Now it's your turn to type in everything you see on the screen at the moment. The most important part is the config stuff. Make sure that you adjust the time zone accordingly and most importantly in the last line of the config stuff, add your own API key. Furthermore, you might want to edit the location. The location is defined as town, comma, and a two character code for your country. I will leave a list of country codes in the description below. When done, press Ctrl X, Y to save and exit. Now back to the overview. Um, we're going to prepare our final script now, which is webcamftp.sh. All it does is connect to an FTP server, send the weather webcam.jpg and disconnect again. Let's go. Type nano webcam FTP dot sh. Type in the following script. Make sure that you need to adjust the host, the user and the password. Furthermore, you see the change directory command at the bottom. Adjust it to wherever you want to put your file on the FTP server. Press Ctrl X Y to save and exit. Now back to our capture.sh script. Make sure it looks like shown in the video. Basically, we added the last two lines now to execute our new scripts. Okay, now for the final step. We need to re-enable our cron tab, I mean the execution of the capture.sh. Type cron tab minus E and scroll down. Remove the hash. Make sure there is a new line below that line, by the way, otherwise the cron tab will be ignored. Save and exit. That's it. This is an example image of the final result. As you can see, the weather data has been added in a nice gray bar at the bottom of the image. It displays the temperature, the perceived temperature and other weather characteristics. Nice. Okay friends, that's it for today. Don't forget to follow, like, subscribe. And if you feel super awesome today, don't forget to check out my Patreon. Thanks in advance. Alpha over and out.